Good evening and welcome to election night in America 2024. It is now 7 p.m. on the East Coast and we have our first poll closings out with polls closing in Georgia, Indiana, Kentucky, South Carolina, Virginia and Vermont. For the state of Indiana, the home state of former VP Mike Pence, Ron DeSantis, is the projected winner of the state of Indiana and its 11 electoral votes. For the state of Kentucky, the 8 electoral votes will go red and vote for Ron DeSantis. Moving on to the state of South Carolina and its 9 electoral votes, Ron DeSantis will win here easily. Finally. For the state of Vermont, Kamala Harris will win here and it's 3 electoral votes. For the state of Virginia, 13 electoral votes, Kamala Harris is the projected winner in the state of Virginia and winning its 13 electoral votes. For the state of Georgia, it's currently too early to call, a state that DeSantis needs to swing his way in order to win. Harris, with the first poll closing, stands at 16 electoral votes while DeSantis has 28. We've just hit 7.30pm on the East Coast. And we have three calls to make in the states of North Carolina, Ohio, and West Virginia. For the state of West Virginia and its four electoral votes, DeSantis will win here with a mandate. In the state of North Carolina, 16 electoral votes, currently too close to call. DeSantis leads, but it's too early in the state of North Carolina to say who wins. For Ohio and its 17 electoral votes, Ron DeSantis is leading over Kamala Harris. At the moment, Ohio is too close to call, but he has a good, healthy lead right now over Harris. Now, Kamala Harris has 16 electoral votes against Ron DeSantis' 32 electoral votes after the second polls of the night. It is now 8pm here on the East Coast and we have one of the biggest poll closings of the night. We have early results in the states of Alabama, Connecticut, Delaware, DC, Florida, Illinois, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Mississippi, Missouri, New Hampshire, New Jersey, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, and Tennessee. Starting off with the state of Connecticut, Kamala Harris will win the state of Connecticut and its 7 electoral votes. Now for Delaware, the home state of Joe Biden. Harris will of course carry Delaware and its 3 electoral votes. In the state of Illinois and its 19 electoral votes, the home state of former President Barack Obama. Harris is the projected winner of the state of Illinois. While for Maryland and its 10 electoral votes, Harris is the projected winner of the state of Maryland by a hefty margin. This state will go to her with its 10 electoral votes. For the state of Massachusetts, 11 electoral votes will vote for Harris, the home state of the Kennedy family and one of the most liberal states in the country. She will win here and it's 11 electoral votes. For New Jersey, and it's 14 electoral votes will go to Kamala Harris and she is the projected winner here in the state of New Jersey, winning its 14 electoral votes. For the state of Rhode Island, 4 electoral votes, Harris is the projected winner here. And in the District of Columbia, Kamala Harris will win here with a mandate and winning the district's 3 electoral votes. Lastly, in the state of Maine, 3 out of 4 electoral votes will go for Kamala Harris, while for the 2nd District of Maine, this one will go for Ron DeSantis, winning the second congressional district and Maine, and its one electoral vote. Alabama and its nine electoral votes will go for Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis is the projector winner in the state of Alabama, winning its nine electoral votes. For the state of Mississippi, its six electoral votes will go for Ron DeSantis swiftly. Moving on to Missouri, a state that used to be a bellwether state many years back, Ron DeSantis will easily win the state of Missouri and its ten electoral votes. Now for the state of Oklahoma, 7 electoral votes will go for Ron DeSantis, an easy win for the governor of Florida. Lastly, in the state of Tennessee, 11 electoral votes will go for Ron DeSantis. For Florida, and his 30 electoral votes, it's currently too early to call. This is DeSantis' home state and governor who won his re-election bid in 2022. Still too early to call between Harris and DeSantis, but he is leading here at the moment. For the state of New Hampshire, and its 4 electoral votes, still too close to call, but Harris is currently leading here. The state of Pennsylvania, 19 electoral votes. Harris is currently leading over DeSantis, but this state is too close to call. Uh, the state where Biden was born in, and a must-win state for both parties. After the largest poll closing of the night, Harris has taken the lead with her having 90 electoral votes against DeSantis, 76. It is now 8.30 p.m. over here in D.C. and we have the poll closing for the state of Arkansas. And the projected winner in the state of Arkansas will be Ron DeSantis, Arkansas, awarding him an extra 6 electoral votes. This puts Ron DeSantis at 82 electoral votes against Kamala Harris, still at 93, after the poll closing in Arkansas. It is now 9pm here in DC and the East Coast and we have our second largest poll closing of the night. We have projections for the states of Arizona, Colorado, Iowa, Kansas, Louisiana, Michigan, Minnesota, Nebraska at large, New Mexico, New York, North Dakota, South Dakota, Texas, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. In the state of Kansas, 6 electoral votes will go for Ron DeSantis, winning the state by a safe and hefty margin, a good win for him. In Louisiana, Ron DeSantis is the projector winner, it's 8 electoral votes, helping him even more. In the state of Nebraska, at large, and almost all of its congressional districts will go for Ron DeSantis. And in the state of North Dakota, Ron DeSantis will win its 3 electoral votes. 
while for the state of South Dakota, it will also grant Ron DeSantis another win with three more electoral votes. Finally, for the state of Wyoming, Ron DeSantis will win here easily, winning its three electoral votes. Moving on to the state of Colorado, we can say that Harris is the projector winner here, easily winning the state's 10 electoral votes. While in the state of Minnesota, its 10 electoral votes will go for Harris, since she is the projector winner here, winning 10 more electoral votes to her name. In the state of New Mexico, La Colorado, Kamala Harris will win here and get the 5 electoral votes from the state of New Mexico. Now, for the big state of New York, 28 electoral votes are projected for Kamala Harris. They are 28 crucial electoral votes and a really good win for her. In the state of Arizona, 11 electoral votes is currently too close to call. This is a must-win state for both candidates. For the state of Michigan, like Arizona, it's currently too close to call. Harris does maintain a very slight lead over Ron DeSantis, but still too close to call for the state of Michigan. In the state of Texas, and its 40 electoral votes, a must-win state for DeSantis, is still too close to call at the moment, but DeSantis does have a slight lead over Harris, and still a long way to go. Wisconsin, another state, is crucial, too close to call with its 10 electoral votes, really really tight race that is crucial for both parties and now after this poll closing harris still leads with 133 electoral votes against desantis 126. it is now 10 pm here on the east coast and we have three states that we can make projections for for the states of montana nevada and utah but we can now call that ron desantis will win his home state of florida a big projection he wins his states 30 electoral votes the people of florida have spoken and again shown their support for their governor, this time on the presidential level. A big projection, as Ron DeSantis is the projector winner in the state of Florida. Furthermore, we can predict that Ohio with its 17 electoral votes will vote for Ron DeSantis, another key win for the governor of Florida. While for the state of Montana, another win for Ron DeSantis. He has won the state of Montana with a hefty margin, winning its four electoral votes. Finally, for the state of Utah, and its 6 electoral votes will go for Ron DeSantis with a hefty margin as well. While the state of New Hampshire, its 4 electoral votes will go to Kamal Harris, since she is the projector winner in the state of New Hampshire. While in Nevada, too early to call, the 6 electoral votes are crucial for her, and she needs to win here. This puts Kamal Harris at 137 electoral votes against Ron DeSantis, who is at 182 this election is slowly and slowly becoming closer and closer. It's now 11 p.m. here on the East Coast and we can now make a couple calls for the states of California, Hawaii, Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. In Kamala Harris, home state of California, she is of course projected to win here easily, winning her state's 54 electoral votes, giving her a big boost in the electoral college. And in the state of Hawaii, Harris is the projected winner here, winning the state's four electoral votes. Now for Oregon, another solid win for her, giving her 8 more electoral votes to her name. Now in the state of Washington, 12 more electoral votes for Kamala Harris. She is the projector winner here in the state of Washington, winning its 12 electoral votes. In the state of Idaho, Ron DeSantis is the projector winner, and he will win here easily and the state giving him an extra 4 electoral votes. For the state of Iowa, 6 more electoral votes for Ron DeSantis since he is the projector winner in the state of Iowa. Okay, we can make another big call. We can now project that the state of North Carolina with its 16 electoral votes will go for Ron DeSantis, a must-win state that shows his support in the South is strong. Finally, for the major, major state of Texas, Ron DeSantis will win the state and carry its gigantic 40 electoral votes. This is a big win for him and for his chances to get into the White House. It's almost midnight here on the East Coast and we can make a major projection. The state of Michigan, with its 15 electoral votes, will go for Kamala Harris, a state that has flip-flopped between parties in 2016 and 2020. Harris has kept it in 2024 in the Democratic column. Now, Kamala Harris is at 240 electoral votes against DeSantis, still close, at 232. And we have just passed midnight over here in the East Coast and we can make another major call in the state of Arizona and its 11 electoral votes will go for Ron DeSantis. A big win for the DeSantis ticket, but a big blow for Harris. And shows that DeSantis' southern strategy has worked. 
We can also say that Kamala Harris will win the state of Nevada, surprisingly closer than it was in 2020. Democrats will still hold on to the state of Nevada and its six electoral votes. Furthermore, we can project that the second congressional district of Nebraska with its one electoral vote will go for Kamala Harris. Before we hit 1 a.m., state of Georgia, the big surprise of 2020. Now in 2024, DeSantis' southern strategy and Florida support has trickled down here, and he has won the state and its 16 electoral votes. This brings the electoral vote tally to 247 for Harris and 259 for DeSantis. Since it's already 1 a.m. in D.C. and on the East Coast, we have one last poll closing for the state of Alaska, in which Ron DeSantis is the projector winner here, winning the state's three electoral votes, of course. Just hit 2 a.m. and we can make a major, major call. We can now project that Ron DeSantis will carry the state of Wisconsin with its crucial 10 key electoral votes. A really contested race that went down to the wire, but due to the Wow County's turnout, it has shifted the state to the right, giving it to DeSantis. Meaning, we can project that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has won the presidency and will become the 47th president in American history, defeating Kamala Harris in the 2024 presidential election. Lastly, to top it off, we can project that DeSantis has won the state of Pennsylvania, putting him above 290. It is racer thin within recount territory, and being the closest state of this election, within 20,000 votes separating both Harris and DeSantis. But it's surely gonna go for DeSantis. Our final presidential map for the 2024 election, Ron DeSantis has won with 291 electoral votes against Kamala Harris 247. DeSantis' southern appeal and suburban appeal have won the night for him, and a big victory for the Republican Party in the 2024 presidential election. Hey guys, before I leave, I just want to say please hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, it's 84 slides and it took me a lot, a lot of work to do. I also want to say, please go ahead and check out one of my political friends. Uh, his name is Alternate Election Nights in Politics. And yeah, I'm going to leave his link down in the description. Pretty chill guy that uploads almost daily. And uh, yeah, I just want to say that. Hopefully y'all have a good night or day and wherever you are and uh, I gotta go. See ya.